guys, it's me, Paulette. <laughs> okay, well, um, I was thinking about doing this thing, like this, I don't know what to call it, like an episode thing, about book talk. It's called Book Talk with Paulette. Wow, finally somebody has created a book talk with Paulette. <laughs> yeah, so, um, book talk with Paulette is about me talking about books that I love and I catch my interest and that I would really love my viewers to read. Yeah. And, um, I would appreciate it if you put some comments down, like, if, say, if you read the book, put comments down, comments down below, because then, if you don't, I'm just talking to myself and... I don't really like that. So, um, yeah. So, today, we are going to be talking about a book called The Mortal Instruments City of, City of Bones. Um, yeah, it's by Cassandra Clare. Um, and she wrote also another series, but we're not going to talk about that series today. We're going to be talking about The Mortal Instruments City of Bones. Okay, I may know what you're thinking. Wow, City of Bones, is it about murder? Seems lame, it's about murder because there's a city with bones. Well, no, the, the name, the name's actually a place. It's called Bone City, I believe, and yeah, so. Um, the book's about shadow hunters. My definition of shadow hunters is non like half human, half angel. Awesome. Save the world. And uh, yeah, that's my definition. But yeah, sh um like okay, like shadow hunt okay. You may be thinking like, wow, shadow hunters, what are they? Shadow Hunters, like, do they, but like, are they hunters that hunt shadows? That seems lame. Well, no. Shadow hunters are actually these half man, half angel types of, I, I don't know where to say, creatures or creations, people, yeah. <laughs> um, that save, that are trying to save the human race from demons. And so, yeah. So, um, right here on the back, I'm going to read what it says, um, because I, I can't really think of a definition of, like, how to start it. So, it says right here, when Clary, Fr when Clary Frey, also known as Clarissa Frey, heads out to the Pannonia Club in New York City, she hardly expects to witness a murder, much less a murder committed by three teenagers covered with odd markings. This is Clary's first meeting with the Shadow Hunters, Wario's Warriors dedicated to riding the earth of demons and keep the odd werewolves and vampires in line. It's also her, her first meeting with gorgeous golden hair, Jace, he's the guy on the cover. Within 24 hours, Clary is pulled into Jace's world with, with Avengers. Sorry, I, yeah. When her mother disappears and Clary and Clary, okay, let's see that. Okay, when her mother disappears and Clary herself is attacked by a demon, by why would demon? But sorry, my I need glasses. Sorry, <laughs> but why would demons be interested in a ordinary mundane girl like Clary? And how did she suddenly get the sight? The shadow hunters would like to know. So yeah, this is the first book of the series, um, yeah. Uh, um, I, I don't know if I should say this, but, like, I think I'm sort of ashamed or something, because I, I haven't, I, I just, fin I just, I just started the series, like, a month ago, probably two, like, a month and a half ago, and, um, I actually feel ashamed because I haven't started it when my dad gave me the book, and on the cover it says, 
The Moral Instrument series is a story world that I would love to live in. Beautiful. Stephanie Meyer, the author of Twilight. And so that's what got me reading it. And my friend said, sort of like, romance? I, I didn't really find that much romance in the first book, so. But it has a whole lot of action. Yeah. So, yeah, that's what the book's about. And, it's like, if you haven't read the book yet, like, not at all, you might want to leave because um, there are, like, some spoilers that I like. Like, I just love, but... Before you leave, there's like this one little part in the book that I liked. It, um. Okay, let's see. Oh. Okay. Right here, there's this like funny part. It. I can't remember where it is. Oh, yeah, right here. Okay, but like, if you read it yourself. You would see, okay, right here. But, um, I'm going to read it, but if you read it yourself, you'd see it's funny. And it's one of my favorite parts in the book. Okay. Talk to her, Jocelyn. Luke's voice was firm. I mean it. He reached for the doorknob. The door flew open. Jocelyn gave a little scream. Jesus, Luke exclaimed. Actually, it's just me, said Simon. Although I've been told the resemblance is startling. He waved at the... At he waved at Clary from the doorway. You ready? And so, yeah, if you read it yourself, you'd see it's funny, but for me, it's funny. Sorry. In my mind. Yeah. Okay, but um, if you haven't read the book, I suggest that you go buy the book or go loan the book, anything, and r start reading it. It's actually kind of great. Yeah. You know, if you like demons and you think you know, hunters are cool. Yeah. Okay, but, um, I'm going to name the characters. There's Clary Frey, Simon Lewis, Jay Swalen, Isabel Lightwood, Alec Lightwood, Magnus Bain, Luke Garway, I think that's how you say his last name, um, Jocelyn Frey, Valentine Morgenstern, Hodge, um, I think his last name's Shirk. Walker or something like that. Yeah, and um, yeah, that's pretty much like all the characters in the first book. Uh, a couple of more characters jump in when you head into the series, you know, like the second, third, fourth, fifth. Yeah, but um, yeah, I really like the book. It's amazing. It's like I just read on the cover. The Mortal Instrument series is a story world that I would love to live in. Beautiful. Stephanie Meyer, the author of Twilight, quoted that. I would agree with her. It is a beautiful story, and I would love to live in it. Why? Well, let's see. I don't like being ordinary. <laughs> yeah. So, and, like, they also have these things called runes. As you can see, like, on the cover, like, here, there's, like, little markings on him and um, this is Chase they're like little markings on him and um those are called runes and they they use like the steel to draw on themselves to give like but it only works on shadow hunters to give them like extra strength like there's balance um there's love there's um I, I think you pronounce this address address I, 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 no, uh yeah, something like that, um, that heals them, and, like, in one part, like, Jace breaks his arm fighting a demon, and, like, um, Claire's like, oh my god, seriously, are you okay? He, he, like, just waves her away, and he says, I'm fine, I'm fine, can you just reach in my pocket to grab my steel? And so she reached into his pocket, and, then, like, he drew the marking, the rune, and then, like, like, okay, like, say your arm is broken, and, you know, and went like that. And then he drew it on himself, and then, bam, he just, it's like, psh, like, it just fixed together immediately. Yeah. And so, yeah, I really love the series. Yeah. Okay, but, um, yeah, like I said earlier, I suggest go buying the book if you're interested. Go buying the book, go loan it, go read the book, go, I don't know. 
don't know what else there is. <laughs> yeah. But, um, yeah. And if you haven't read the book, here's, like, some, like, spoilers. Yeah. Like, I, I wouldn't want to say so much of a spoiler, but, you know, I like the book, and so there's a spoiler. But, like, um, like, okay, for the people that read, yeah, so, yeah, if you haven't read the book, just, just, you should just leave right now, leave, and read the book, and then watch this video again, see what I mean by that, but, yeah, um, so, okay, at the end, like, my favorite, like, oh my god, at the end, like, I was so frustrated, I couldn't even think because for the people that read this book, they know that, oh my god, you know, like, Valentine Morgenstern is Clary's father, um, and he said that Jace is, they're, they're brothers and sisters, and like, like, Clary, in her mind, she, um, she sort of says that she had feelings, and she's like, oh my god, at, like, yes, but like, like, at the end, oh my god, where was I, um, yeah, at the end, I was like, oh my god, this can't be true, like, is he lying, or, and, like, I, I actually believed it, and, like, I didn't want to, because, you know, Clary, I, I thought Clary, well, yeah, she does, but, like, Clary has feelings for Jace, and I'm like, oh my god, come on, you gotta be kidding me, like, that, it's like, oh my god, and so, yeah, like, oh my god, like, Come on, and yeah. So, yeah, this one spoiler. I don't know what else to say. No. That's the Mortal Instruments City of Bones by Cassandra Clare. Read it, buy it, own it, love it. I don't know what else there is. <laughs> so, post your comments down below. Tell me what's your favorite part of the book and you know how I explained what the book is like how yeah yeah <laughs> so um yeah so post your comments down below and yeah and yeah yeah but please post your, post your comments down below because if you don't, then, like, I'm, like, just talking to myself. And, yeah, I don't really like talking to myself, so. Uh, yeah, thanks. Once again, the Mortal Instruments City of Bones. And, um, I'm, and next episode, this is episode one, I'm going to be talking about, um, City of Ashes. The Mortal Instruments City of Ashes by Cassandra Clare. And make sure to read these two books, too. Okay.